Hi again. I'm just um, getting ready to roll up my eco printing uh, rolls here of uh, the wool and the eucalyptus. So I'll uh, roll one up so that you can kind of see how the, the process actually goes. And I'll start out with my uh, copper pipe. I had uh, some copper pipe in my uh, garage and had a hubby uh, kind of prepare it and cut it the length that I needed for my pot. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually start at the bottom and roll it up really as tight as I possibly can. And by doing so, I'm able to get as much of the onion skins onto the, the fabric of the, the wool. And that's what ultimately the eco dyeing will do. It actually creates a nice reaction with not only with the vinegar, but also with rusty particles that are in the dirty pot. So all of this works together to create a, the reaction of a color dye. And this is all natural, natural ingredients. So things that you can find easily in your area and also in your kitchen. So that's what really uh, presents itself as an easy, easy way to, to do the roll up. Once I get it all rolled up, I'm going to tie it as tight as I can. And I'm going to use t-shirt material, which is a stretchy cotton material that I have. And I made strips of the tie-ups with the t-shirt material. And then that way I can, I'm just gonna pull this forward here. So I'm gonna use the t-shirt the materials to tie it as tight as I can. The, the idea of the t-shirt material is that it actually has a bit of a stretch instead of using just a cotton a cotton string because the cotton string, as you know, you would pull it really tight and then it causes a bit of an issue in terms of um, maybe cutting your hands. So it's a um, the stretchy is a little bit better in terms of you know, not hurting your hand and still being able to use. So here's my string that I uh, made from an old t-shirt and I'm gonna use it to tie up my bundles. So each one will be tied up very, very tightly. So just so you get an idea of the process, once I get this all done, it'll go in the dirty pot that I'm preparing in my garage. You don't wanna be doing any, this sort of uh, cooking, vinegar or that sort of thing with metal in your own kitchen. So I highly recommend that you uh, create a space in, in an outdoor space is ideal. And I've got my, my propane barbecue uh, going in the garage right now because I need to have that prepared about a half an hour ahead. So you can see how just pulling that and making it as tight as possible, you can see how that's gonna really work out well to keep it all together and to get some of that squeezed out of the, the actual onion skin onto the fabric. So this is wool fabric that I found as in a, well, an antique shop. And it has some cellulose fabric in there because it actually has some nylon in there but it's only a small percentage so it's an actual wool which is better in terms of eco dyeing you don't want to have say um 100 polyester or you know a, a type that's not a natural fiber in order to do your your eco printing onto uh, f fabric so there we go. I think we're getting it good and tight here. And uh, I'll just stop the video there. And then the next step will be out in the garage where I'll actually put it into my, my dirty pot that's being uh, prepared right now. Okay. Bye for now.